Now the North American bison from the plains of West and Canada are a migratory animal. That means they travel over long, long distances. So they can find themselves in an arid habitat, but then they can also find themselves in snowy, rocky mountains. Bison now. And you probably now spotted these camel bottoms. Couple sitting down having a munch, our beautiful camels. Now I'm going to ask you an easy question. Do our camels have one hump or two? One hump, yes, you guys are smart. Just one hump, so we call them dromedary camels. And that hump is full of fat. Now we've got two warm horns that we're looking at now. They're huge horns, I don't think I want to get in there. They're a really good representation of the type of cattle that you've got their own baby. So we've got baby boy who's closest to us there looking at us with those little horns he'll grow. And right behind him, baby acacia as well. We can see her facing out towards the right. And she's really easy to spot because she's a little bit smaller in size and she's got that smaller horn as well that will grow and get bigger over the course of her life. The best way to understand what a rhinoceros horn is made of is by running your fingers through your hair or maybe running one fingernail over the other and that's all it's made of. 